Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chandra uh, from uh, Calgary, Canada. Um, in this video, we will see how to uh, uh, get a job, uh, specifically uh, for uh, people who are just immigrating or uh, planning to immigrate. Um, and uh, thanks for visiting my channel again. Uh, this is uh, downtown Calgary, the hub of all jobs in Calgary. Uh, in this video, we will see uh, all the important steps that you need to uh, perform or uh, follow to get a job effectively in your field. Uh, don't miss any of it uh, because it's quite important and if you follow everything, uh, you will be uh, in a right position to uh, get a job fast. Thank you very much. Uh, so here in this video, I'll give you the techniques. Uh, I would say these as techniques rather than tips or tricks uh, uh, for you to do it uh, before you uh, come to Canada and come here with the dream job. Uh, before we start seeing these techniques one by one, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell button. And uh, feel free to ask any questions regarding immigration or uh, job search uh, uh, in the comments. I will respond to you as fast as I can. Thank you very much. Uh, also, watch my other video uh, which uh, talks about best cities to immigrate. So, uh, choose the city and then uh, or choose the job and then see if that city uh, is a uh, best fit for you and then um, you can go from there. Uh, before we start talking about uh, all the techniques and process, um, I just wanted to uh, give you a background about me. Um, I'm in Canada since uh, 2011 and before that I was in US uh, for about 10 years. So uh, I, I applied for immigration here and then uh, uh, moved here. Uh, but before moving, I started all my job uh, search process right from US and uh, I came to Canada with a job offer. So uh, definitely follow some of the techniques uh, which I mentioned here. Uh, you are sure to come here with a job. I took almost 10 months from the date of landing. I landed here uh, in Canada. Uh, in 2010 uh, October and then I moved here to uh, uh, Canada in uh, 2011 uh, August so in between that uh, duration um, I was searching for the right uh, for my right job um, right from my US uh, uh, work location or US from where I was in US and then uh, I moved here in uh, August uh, 2011 so uh, take your time plan things ahead uh, so that when you come here uh, you'll be able to uh, come here with a job and then uh, your uh, settlement will be seamless uh, the first one is uh, if you are uh, working in a multinational company uh, try an internal transfer so uh, basically uh, uh, say for example if you're working in a company like uh, uh, TCS, IBM, AccentShare, um, some, some kind of an IT or a multinational company, uh, they must be having an office in Canada for sure. So uh, try uh, uh, talking to your manager or uh, uh, higher ups uh, uh, to see if uh, they can uh, transfer uh, you to the Canadian office. So if you already have your uh, PR, uh, this might be the easiest uh, uh, way to settle, uh, get settled in Canada with a job offer. Um, although the salary uh, sometimes might not be on par with the Canadian uh, standards, uh, you uh, start getting your uh, uh, Canadian experience uh, right away. So uh, don't hesitate to ask your uh, manager or higher ups uh, about this uh, uh, option. So uh, sometimes uh, you might uh, get it easily or sometimes uh, in, in, in other cases uh, you might not but uh, better to ask than not to ask. Getting transferred internally to a Canadian office is one of the best options for people who have low CRS scores because of uh, their low IELTS or any other factors. Um, this is one of the best option for them. So you get the work permit and then um, you can apply for Canadian PR after staying here for more than one year or uh, you can uh, choose uh, PNP or any other uh, PNP uh, approaches. So uh, consider this uh, factor very important. Uh, the next technique is uh, to get a local number. It can be either virtual or you can also get a, a fixed uh, local number such as Magic Jack. Um, I always used Magic Jack. Um, uh, there are, if you Google search, you would be able to uh, uh, get a, a virtual local number uh, online. Another thing I would recommend is uh, getting a Canadian local address. Uh, you can get it either from your friends, relatives, um, so that uh, you can put that in your resume. Uh, this will also help you uh, 
uh, get your uh, job interview uh, faster uh, another important step or requirement uh, is uh, to change your resume format uh, to the canadian style uh, this includes both uh, resume and the uh, cover letter so uh, different countries have different formats or requirements um, in their uh, job application process but uh, uh, employees here in Canada are uh, specific about the uh, uh, style or format of uh, the resume that uh, they require uh, so within the Canadian style of format uh, you never uh, list your salary picture or any family information or any any kind of a personal uh, details uh, um, so uh, what I have done is um, I, I'll be providing you the link uh, uh, towards the end of this video where you can uh, download uh, the Canadian style format resume template and cover letter for your uh, uh, for your uh, use. So uh, feel free to use that and uh, uh, good luck. Another thing which is very important is uh, don't use the same resume for all the job applications. Uh, make sure um, you customize your or uh, you uh, customize your resume to for each and every job uh, matching the requirements so basically the keywords uh, in the job requirements uh, should be in the resume as well so that uh, your resume is picked up by the automatic uh, tracking system so uh, not everyone uh, will be uh, reviewing the resumes manually so it is the uh, automated uh, tracking systems will uh, pull up your resume and then uh, uh, it will be uh, reviewed by the HR or the hiring manager so make sure uh, all the keywords are in place within your resume which matches the uh, job requirements this is very very important for you to uh, uh, get the job interviews so resumes are the uh, gateway to jobs so make sure this is this step is very very important because the resumes are the one which will get you the job interviews um, so uh, make sure the resumes and the cover letters are prop properly formatted uh, according to the Canadian style and make sure it is uh, uh, customized uh, uh, to uh, based on the job requirements or the job application. Thank you. Uh, another important step or I would rather to say technique or a process uh, uh, is uh, for you to have a, a professional uh, refined uh, LinkedIn account. So uh, what you do is uh, if you don't have a LinkedIn account, uh, um, make a link, create a LinkedIn account, update the LinkedIn account to make sure uh, whatever is in your resume uh, matches in the LinkedIn account, update with all the skills, uh, your professional experience, uh, all the projects that you did. Um, so update that in the LinkedIn account. Um, also, if you have already told your uh, peers in your country or uh, the networks in your country that uh, uh, you'd be moving to Canada, uh, make sure you change your uh, address or the location on the LinkedIn profile uh, to Canadian one because uh, recruiters looking for candidates on LinkedIn uh, favor local candidates as well. Uh, than uh, people who are overseas. So make sure the location in within your LinkedIn account has been changed to the Canadian uh, location uh, so that you would get calls from the uh, uh, recruiters. Um, also make sure your uh, LinkedIn account uh, has no grammar or careless mistakes uh, because uh, uh, recruiters would want to see a professional level of communication uh, before they can consider you for a job. So uh, after updating uh, your LinkedIn to be so professional, uh, uh, make sure uh, you can get some endorsements or uh, recommendations uh, uh, from your past uh, colleagues or managers uh, about your work. Uh, so that it will be uh, it it will reflect what you have done so far uh, in your uh, career. Um, so uh, these are the steps that you need to do uh, uh, before that you can do before you come to Canada uh, uh, with regards to your job search. Uh, so uh, within LinkedIn, there are uh, uh, job uh, uh, postings uh, that you can apply for. So uh, so these are the things that you can do. Uh, so as a recap, uh, the things that can be done before you come to Canada. Um, is uh, the first one as uh, we talked about uh, uh, getting an internal transfer within your company if your company is a multinational company in this way uh, 
the uh, transition is seamless and uh, you don't have to do the rest of the things uh, the next one is uh, we talked about uh, uh, getting about getting a local Canadian number and Canadian address so that you can put it on your resume for the uh, recruiters and uh, employers to call you back uh, the third one is uh, uh, the updating your resume and cover letter to make sure it is a uh, Canadian style and uh, the fourth one is uh, 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 refining your uh, LinkedIn account so make sure it is proper so these are things that has to be done um, before you even uh, start your uh, uh, job search uh, so finally after doing all these uh, steps uh, uh, you can start searching for the jobs uh, in various uh, uh, job search sites uh, usually uh, uh, what I used to do is uh, I used uh, indeed.ca uh, so what indeed does is it gets uh, uh, the jobs from uh, various uh, uh, sites including monster or any other uh, job sites and then uh, uh, mash it up and then give you the uh, search results so you don't have to go to each and every uh, job search sites so indeed.ca is the best for searching the jobs it also collects the uh, job requirements from the individual employers uh, uh, websites so uh, uh, so that you can start applying uh, uh, in their websites as well so uh, you apply for the jobs and then uh, wait for the interview calls if you have done all these steps before uh, you would definitely get a few uh, interview calls uh, since you are uh, local uh, you have a local number and uh, you have given the local address so uh, definitely uh, you will get uh, calls from the recruiters um, and you, are, you can also get uh, you would also be getting uh, messages within your LinkedIn account uh, uh, with uh, uh, the job requirements or job details uh, from the recruiters if you are interested another important uh, thing that you should be doing is uh, registering for uh, uh, free pre-arrival government programs so government funds lots of uh, organization for these helping immigrants uh, so uh, pre-arrival services can help you to uh, prepare you for move to Canada uh, get your education work experience uh, and credentials recognized in Canada and connect uh, with employers uh, to find you a job so uh, these are all free services and uh, I have provided the links uh, for all these uh, uh, free pre-arrival services uh, down in the descriptions description below and uh, towards the end of the uh, video as well so feel free to uh, browse through those and this is very very important it will definitely help you out uh, the government offers uh, free programs to help you find uh, work faster so you can um, register online for pre-arrival uh, uh, employment services like JVS uh, can prep program or next stop Canada uh, before you get here so uh, basically what they do is they connect a uh, skilled uh, newcomer professionals uh, from all around the world to an employment uh, specialist uh, who will be supporting uh, them in navigating uh, the Canadian job market so uh, don't forget this important step uh, so uh, make sure you um, register for all these uh, free uh, pre-arrival uh, uh, steps and uh, also as mentioned uh, uh, by uh, can prep uh, they say that uh, many of their can prep uh, uh, participants have found jobs as soon as they have arrived so uh, uh, some people most people don't know uh, some of these uh, pre-arrival uh, services provided by the government and uh, not use it and uh, they might uh, be uh, uh, a, without a job for a longer time so make sure you do that this is an important step before you can uh, uh, arrive in Canada and after you arrive it is not possible so uh, do it before you uh, uh, land uh, so uh, these are the uh, these are things that you should be doing before you come to Canada so after the fact that you have arrived to Canada without a job uh, uh, continue watching this video uh, for uh, the rest of the techniques so uh, so far what we have discussed is uh, that you can do before you come to Canada um, and uh, the one which we are going to see now is uh, uh, the rest of the video will be talking about uh, the steps or the techniques uh, that you should be doing after the fact that you have arrived in Canada without a job so after you come to Canada the first thing you need to do is uh, you have to uh, uh, go to your local immigrant immigrant uh, serving organizations uh, they, there are lots of organizations in each city 
um, and uh, what they do is they basically help you look for a job uh, in, in case if you need uh, more uh, language uh, help uh, they get you a language assessment and then they register you register you for a free language classes uh, help you find a place to live in so there are lots of things that they help you with uh, uh, the initial settlement so uh, uh, first find out what is uh, uh, local uh, immigrant uh, serving organizations uh, you can find that in the IRCC site I can I, I'll provide you the link uh, for that as well in the description um, so first thing you have to do is register with them um, and then they will guide you with all the necessary settlement uh, uh, steps uh, so when you register with them uh, they will uh, be helping you uh, uh, they will tie you with a mentor or uh, somebody would be helping you uh, in your job search they will uh, help you uh, uh, help you with the resume format cover letter and then they will uh, uh, make sure uh, they uh, connect you with uh, some uh, employers so these are the things that they would be helping you with so make sure you uh, uh, register with them and then uh, the next one is uh, you go to your local library your community library which is close to your uh, place or where you live uh, there are lots of free information free classes free courses and they also help you with uh, uh, searching the job so go to your local library and talk to your librarian um, they will, there is a lot of uh, free information and they will uh, set you up with a library account. Library account in uh, most of the cities in Canada is free. So you will be having access to books, classes and there are lots of events in the library. You will, if you don't have a computer, you will go. You can go to your library, local library, and uh, you can uh, search for jobs there. And then there are lots of digital content. So uh, this will be able to. Uh, this will help you a lot uh, uh, for you to uh, pick up uh, job related, related skills as well. There are lots of free courses as well, uh, which your uh, library provides. There, there are lots of. Uh, uh, books for example uh, for IT people uh, there is a book called Safari online uh, which is uh, about uh, $300 uh, per year if you buy it right uh, for one year uh, but if uh, some of the libraries uh, like Toronto Public Library uh, provides you those uh, 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 a book uh, internet books for free so make sure uh, you utilize those uh, resources effectively uh, so as I mentioned before uh, you would be able to get a mentor or uh, type you can tie up with a mentor uh, with your local uh, Im with the help of your local immigrant uh, serving organizations and there are also many Canadian professionals and uh, business people who give free advice and coaching to newcomers settling in, in Canada uh, so you can uh, find someone uh, to mentor you through uh, some of the organizations like uh, Immigrant Services Associations of Nova Scotia. Uh, it's called ISANS. Um, Calgary Regional uh, Immigrant Employment Council, CRIEC. Uh, so I'll give you all these uh, uh, information in the description as well. So for example, in Toronto, there is something called Toronto Region Immigrant Employment Council. Uh, so these are the uh, various organizations that will uh, tie you tie up with uh, uh, mentors that these mentors might be uh, very high uh, highly placed in their own uh, company so uh, it's a chance for you to network with uh, uh, people in your field so uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, look for all these opportunities you can't just search shops in the internet uh, you have to try different uh, uh, methods so uh, you have to uh, look for various opportunities in different uh, uh, ways uh, and uh, one might be uh, successful so uh, try all these avenues and you are sure to uh, uh, get jobs very fast uh, so another important step or the uh, uh, process that you should do uh, while uh, before even uh, start your job search is uh, uh, get your credentials assessed in Canada as well so you did it for uh, the PR but you have to do it again after you come here for certain professions for example uh, engineers doctors nurses architects so there are uh, trades uh, like electrician uh, fitters welders etc uh, so uh, these uh, professions uh, uh, need to be uh, um, assessed so basically there are two types of jobs in Canada one is called the regulated jobs and the other one is called uh, uh, non-regulated jobs uh, regulated jobs are controlled by provincial, territorial and sometimes uh, uh, federal laws 
सो दे आर गवर्नड बाई अ रेगुलेटरी बॉडी और अप्रेंटाइसशिप अथॉरिटी सो दे इंक्लूड जॉब सच एस आर्किटेक्ट्स प्लम्बर्स इंजीनियर्स सो दीज जॉब्स आर रेगुलेटेड टू प्रोटेक्ट पब्लिक हेल्थ एंड सेफ्टी मेक श्योर पीपल वर्किंग इन दीज जॉब्स आर वेरी वेल क्वालिफाइड सो अबाउट ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द जॉब्स इन कैनेडा आर रेगुलेटेड सो इन ऑर्डर फॉर यू इन ऑर्डर टू वर्क इन रेगुलेटेड जॉब इन कैनेडा वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू हैव अ लाइसेंस और अ सर्टिफिकेट or be registered with the regulatory body for your job in the province or territory where you want to work so there are uh, certain um, uh, steps that you need to do uh, uh, before you get the license or uh, get it get certified from those regulatory bodies uh, each regulated job uh, has its own requirements uh, for getting a license or uh, a certificate so basically uh, requirements for entry can be uh, different between uh, uh, provinces and territories but they usually include uh, having your training and uh, skills assessed against the jobs uh, standards uh, this is either done by comparing your training with your training provided by uh, the canadian colleges and universities or uh, you need to show your original transcripts academic transcripts or university course descriptions and sometimes there are written exams uh, uh, or an interview as well so uh, this is quite important step for you to work in your field for example uh, engineers in alberta need to be uh, certified or uh, assessed by the uh, uh, engineering uh, regulatory body uh, and uh, they get a, a qualification called p inch so everybody uh, who wants to work in this uh, field has to have this p inch or get it cert- get certified from from that regulatory body uh, so uh, make sure once you come here if you are uh, a part of those uh, regulated jobs uh, make sure you get certified or get accredited uh, the steps i have mentioned uh, uh, so far are kind of requirements for your uh, job search to be successful so uh, apart from that uh, you have to do a lot of networking uh, so in canada basically uh, you have to talk a lot uh, so uh, uh, like you have to talk and then um, uh, talk to people various people and make sure uh, you are uh, marketing yourself very well that's one of the uh, kind of uh, i would say uh, um, social skills that you need to have uh, to make your job search successful as well so this can be done by uh, various uh, uh, networking events there are lots of events uh, uh, that are free that takes place in every city for example uh, uh, user forums for example in it uh, there are various uh, uh, domains uh, so each and every domain will have hold events uh, in uh, uh, probably for example in a microsoft event will be uh, free user forums will be free so you can go to those events interact with uh, various people around there and then uh, talk to people uh, and then uh, tell them that you are looking for job and uh, just talk to people and kind of try to get their uh, 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 a per, like a professional uh, help uh, from them and then give your uh, contact details as well so these things will definitely help you get your uh, uh, job fast basically there are lots of jobs uh, uh, that are not advert advertised or uh, not even posted so uh, uh, networking definitely helps uh, get those hidden jobs which are not being posted on the uh, online or uh, job search uh, uh, job sites so uh, uh, networking is really really important uh, uh, for you to get the jobs as well uh, in certain cases uh, you might need to uh, look for uh, bridging programs uh, related to job so in uh, if you want to work uh, in the field of your job or f- say for example hr or payroll the laws are quite different from where you came from uh, to one in canada uh, so bridging programs basically help uh, internationally trained professionals and trades people uh, who want to work uh, in the field in what in their field in canada so they it basically includes uh, courses educations and skill assessments uh, practical or workplace experience they provide uh, uh, practical or uh, 
workplace uh, experience uh, and then uh, they train you for the uh, the credential exams uh, exam prep for licenses or certificates uh, so these uh, bridging programs need to be uh, done before you start your uh, or uh, job search or uh, if you want to work in your own field uh, so basically for uh, information regarding that uh, uh, you can go to your uh, immigrant services organization um, um, or our local uh, universities they should be having uh, uh, university continuing education programs uh, uh, basically they are the bridging programs uh, you can talk to the university counselors um, uh, for uh, your, the bridging programs that you want and uh, enroll in those specific uh, programs um, so uh, for example uh, canadian uh, payroll association uh, is uh, provides uh, bridging programs for payroll administrators and then uh, hr associations uh, uh, cphr uh, will uh, be able to provide uh, uh, bridging programs for uh, hr uh, professionals so these are the kind of uh, programs that you be uh, should be enrolled uh, uh, for you to work in the field uh, uh, of your field uh, last but not the least uh, is uh, try to get some uh, volunteer working opportunities uh, um, with regards to your uh, field uh, so talk with your mentor uh, whom you are working with and uh, try to uh, get his help in uh, getting some volunteer opportunities or uh, go to your library or immigrant serving organization and try to uh, uh, get some valuable uh, uh, volunteer work this will help you gain some uh, uh, canadian experience and then you can understand uh, uh, the work culture and then uh, practice your uh, uh, technical skills and communication skills uh, uh, it's a very good opportunity to uh, uh, get some canadian references as well um, these are the things uh, that i th thought uh, i should be uh, sharing with you uh, all uh, to help you with the job search um, thank you very much for watching and uh, good luck to everyone uh, in your job search and uh, please do subscribe uh, to my channel and hit the bell button <laughs> Uh, and then uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to uh, uh, comment down below i will uh, uh, definitely uh, respond uh, as soon as possible um, also another thing i wanted to uh, tell you all is uh, um, the job that you get in canada uh, might be not the same level as the one which you were working before in your country you might be working as a team lead uh, or an architect or a manager in your country but uh, the one you might get is like kind of a developer or a, a analyst something uh, similar to that uh, because uh, usually uh, uh, the canadian employers uh, don't give uh, they want to see they can see your uh, performance and then uh, they will definitely would be able to uh, uh, move you up a uh, higher higher rank as fast as they can as well so uh, f with regards to me i was a team lead in my previous uh, uh, company in uh, even in us uh, but uh, when i came here i was joined in as an analyst and then uh, within two months uh, i i moved up uh, very fast and uh, salary hikes and everything so uh, don't uh, uh, be sad or uh, don't get uh, uh, dejected uh, uh, seeing the drop in your career but uh, definitely you will be uh, uh, going to the same rank uh, faster also uh, uh, if in the case that uh, you don't have a job uh, uh, when you are here uh, feel free to uh, work part-time while you are searching uh, uh, so you can uh, work and uh, don't feel ashamed or uh, don't feel uh, uh, bad working in anywhere like in uh, walmart or uh, any other place uh, because you need to uh, support your family so uh, uh, while you're searching for the job in your field uh, definitely uh, try uh, uh, working part-time to support your family that is the piece of advice that i would su suggest uh, uh, giving to anyone